Welcome to another gear talk. So, I guess, uh, <laughs> oh my god, sorry, it's, um, <laughs> I don't know if laughing at yourself is a sign of insanity, <laughs> hopefully it's not, but I was just thinking of something funny, sorry, <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> Oh my god, I can't, I can't do this. <laughs> Maybe I should just leave this in the video, it's just, sorry. <laughs> oh my god, I was all set to do a serious review and then I was just, I was thinking of something that one of the guys said and it just cracked me up. <laughs> anyway, um, let's get down to it, sorry. <laughs> so... It's probably good that I'm in a good mood anyway. It, sh it shows that the bag is working and the bag is warm because if if I wasn't laughing, if I wasn't la if I was cold, I wouldn't be laughing. I, I'd be I'd be miserable. So anyway, let's get down to it. So you all came here today not to look at me laugh, um, but to to look at this bag, the the Yervin Fjellduken Extreme. So. I just wanted to show this bag up close on video and to show, uh, to, to show YouTube, to show uh, the Facebook groups that I'm in, to show Instagram, IGTV. I just wanted to show um, part and parcel of what this what this poncho slash bivy bag slash everything type of bag can do. So this is this is made by Jervin in Norway. Okay. If you don't know them, just look them up. Jerven.com, J-E-R-V-E-N. They're they're an incredible uh, family company to deal with, and um, the owner, uh, lovely man, he um, has he created this from the ground up, and really, Jerven have contracts with some of the top armies that you can think of, so. If you go onto their website, you'll find uh, some really, um, uh, some really great company info that you can that you can look up on them to to find out which forces use their bags. Now, for those of you that that know me from Instagram over the last two years, and uh, I've just, by the way, got five thousand followers on Instagram, so happy days. But those of you that know. I've got a couple of backgrounds, okay? Um, and I don't mean work-related backgrounds, but a couple of topics that I like to cover. One of them is um, tactical. The other one is bushcraft. So bu bu tactical bushcraft, retro bushcraft, and I guess you could say modern bushcraft, okay? So that's that's really the area that I, that I come from now. Obviously, starting off, I was a hiker. I did a bit of mountaineering. That's my background. My dad was a mountaineer. My dad was a hiker. So was I. Okay, but I've embraced this world, this outdoors world of bushcraft. Okay, and for me, I'm looking at products that are tactical that you can take into the bushcraft world. We all know there's a lot of retro products that have been working for decades and centuries that they've used in in bushcraft and they work they're great um, and i'm a big supporter of them especially the woolen products because i'm a tester for svala of finland and i'm also testing this for Yervin. so this particular bag okay the reason why i got it is because i I, for one, was doing a lot of research when I came by Yervin, and I started to ask the questions in groups um, uh, to a couple of people. Uh, check out this product. Has anyone used their product? What do you think of this product? And a couple of other YouTubers came to me. A couple of people that I that I really respect that aren't on YouTube, aren't even on Instagram, they're just on Facebook, uh, came to me from Sweden, Norway, and Finland that are using this bag, others from Germany, others from France, guys from America. And they 
their their overall consensus of this bag is that this is your get out of trouble bag. So obviously, you know, there's those bivvies that you can buy out there, the emergency bivvies for five, ten, fifteen euros that are have the reflective material but they're not insulated. Well this is pretty much that, but it's insulated. So <clears throat> I'm lying here on the ground. Like I said, it's I, I think it's minus three or minus four Celsius. The ground is wet with the snow. Um, I've got on three layers of wool underneath this, and then I've got the Yervin bag, and I'm warm. I'm I'm nowhere near cold. I don't even have to wear uh, a beanie hat. The beanie hat is actually underneath the mobile phone, which is taking this video, and I'm warm. I'm cozy. Usually, I I get very cold, but. The great thing about having a Yervin bag, whether you buy the, the Hunter model or the Extreme model, one with 60 grams of premium loft per meter squared, the Extreme model with 170 grams of premium loft per meter squared, it's going to keep you a couple of things, dry and warm, okay? So you have to think about that when you go out camping. And that's the way that I was thinking when I wanted to go out camping. I... I had everything else. I had my sleeping bags, my backpacks, my my knives, my axes, my saws, my clothing. I had everything. And then I started looking at ponchos. And I was thinking, okay, I can buy that poncho for X amount of money, but it's not insulated. I wanted something that I could wear as a poncho, but also use as a bivy, because I like multifunctional products. They have to be able to serve a dual purpose. And in the case of the Yervin Extreme bag, I mean, or the Yervin Hunter bag, they're, they're, they're just phenomenal. The, the things you can do with these bags are incredible. I've made an A-frame tent. I've sipped two Hunter bags together and I've made, um, I, I've made a proper porch system tent. I have used a Hunter bag as a hammock. I've used a Hunter bag or any of their bags, this one as well, as the material for a tripod chair. I've used them extensively last winter when I was out cowboy camping down to minus 12, minus 14 Celsius with pine boughs underneath me and uh, and, and other uh, functions, uh, sorry, and, and other products like a closed cell phone mat and inflatable mat. And I will get onto their uses in a second because there is a trick to these Yervin bags when you're using mats. And I've always been warm. Now with the Hunter bag, there is a lot less insulation. So I did have to use a sleeping bag inside that. And there is a trick to it. When you get inside these to use them as an insulated bivy, you must make sure that they're fully sipped up. Okay. Now, I highly advise, because I'm a bushcrafter, that you try to find some spruce or pine boughs and have that as your insulation. That for me is the ultimate insulation. Okay. When I'm out on the mountains, when I'm out hiking, of course I don't have my pine boughs or my spruce boughs or my conifers. And that's when I reach to my other stuff like my inflatables and closed cell phone mats. Um, last year, because I was doing multi-testing on the Yervin bag hunter, I used pine boughs at one stage and then I used my inflatables and closed cell phone at another just to get an understanding of how well this bag can perform, whether you're on the mountain, whether you're on a valley or a hillside or whether you're in the forest. So my preferred setup is the spruce boughs, okay? And then usually I go retro and I go a bit modern. I throw down a thick Irish wool blanket on top of it that weighs close to two kilos. Um, I, I use a reindeer hide from Norway, uh, a Nordic winter reindeer hide, the winter weight ones. They're quite thick, they're about two kilos. I throw the Yervin bag on top the extreme model and I get in and I sleep but like I said sip it up fully so don't sleep like this with your head outside the bag sip it up fully and on the lengthways part of the bag open it up about half a foot and just get in and sleep now I don't know if you're a cold sleeper or a warm sleeper so I'm advising you to make sure that you test the bag at different temperatures start off with four degrees celsius make your way down the next night when it's zero, make your way down to whatever temperature you're, you're, until you get basically you start feeling cold. But I'd also advise you that if you're going to be doing that, like I do, that you bring out something else with you. Have a sleeping bag on the side that's rated to zero or minus two or minus six, whatever, whatever that may be. Just have a sleeping bag on the side that 
if you're testing this in minus eight or minus ten and you're too cold, you can pull your you pull your emergency sleeping bag out, throw it inside the Ervin bag, and you'll be fine. And that's really the that's really the Ervin bag. That's the uses of it. There's not much more else I can say on this bag bar go out and buy it. There's just way too many things that you can do with this bag. Now, in relation to a poncho format, it's not like your normal poncho pair. You have a hood. This is literally like a sleeping bag or a bivy bag where you'd open up the top part of it. You'd hang it down or you'd pull it up over your head as a, as a hood. And they come with a belt and then you zip the belt closed. You pull it up a little bit off the ground and zip it, zip it closed. And the great thing about that system is and one of the reasons why I got it is because at the time I was wondering, okay, I could get a pair of trousers insulated for 300 euros, or I could get the Yervin bag, which is going to go down over my legs anyway and keep me warm. And that's exactly one of the reasons why I got it. And these, by the way, they do come with sleeves. They're not zippered sleeves, but they do come with sleeves um, that have uh, kind of like a string system built into it that wraps around your arm. And that's really all I can say about the Ervin bag today. Um, if you have any questions, write them down below and I'll be happy to get back to you. Like, subscribe and comment. And I hope I brought you some decent information today. So for me, Gavin, aka Beers, Beards and Bushcraft, you have been watching the Yervin Fjeldukin Mountain Camo Extreme Bag review. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for another one.